Okay, so there's some clips. Move that. The main ingredient. Aluminium um, front steering knuckles with proper screws. Not self tappers. So that's the big one we've been waiting for. I'll take it out of the bag in a minute. And to go with that, new bearings. So hopefully I've ordered the right bearings, but we're about, we're about to find out. So. Alright, so, I think we're ready to see if we've got the right parts. Hopefully I have. So let's just put them over here. Here's all the pieces that I took off. Hopefully, everything's there. I'll open up these bearings and try and compare them to the, the ones I took out. See if they're the right ones. Perfect. Well. They're not perfect. I don't know what is. Good ones. Nice. Okay. Don't get the old ones confused. Alright, so. So if you buy the HSP off of um, eBay, look at that. Where are we? I'm trying to use the phone for the camera, so sorry if it's um, pretty crap. But there's the machined aluminium. Oh, there it goes. But, uh, steering knuckles. Okay, so if you buy the HSP or any of the HSP cars on eBay um, and you need parts, go to helipal.com. You should find them there. If not, find them on eBay. I got these from Helipal because got the proper screws to fit these the threads whereas the ones on eBay didn't have the screws and the plastic one had um, self tapping screws which are no good for threaded holes I don't even know if the camera can see any of this alright so uh, Do start putting this back together. Wait, can you see that? A little bit. I got it on the home brand work stand. Milo tin. Cool. Well, enough mucking around, let's do this. They don't, they're not marked left and right, so 
Well, it's seen it exactly the same. Alright, I'm going to pause this for a minute until I work out how to put it back together. Okay, so the barons fit perfect. I don't know if you can see the inside one sitting in there. And the outside one, they fit in perfect. So it looks like I got that right. I don't think we need grease in there because they're a sealed bearing but you'll only get dirt and rubbish stuck to it anyway so it spins pretty good so we're going to connect the steering linkage to the end of the um, the last hole on the steering knuckle. I've got the little axle in there, pushed him in. Um, that turns good. So hopefully this thread will match the thread in the steering knuckle. I can tighten that up and then put the nut on the end of it. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I've threaded the ball joint through the steering knuckle, which was a bit of a pain in the butt because it was so small. It's in there. Now I'm putting the lock nut on the top. Won't need lock tight because we've got a lock nut. So I think. Alright. Get the dog bone in. I should have done something else before I done this, I think. Anyway. Trying to line the dog bone up. With the end of the axle. I'll try and put a screw in. Alright, so I've got it lined up. These bolts are screwing into the aluminium of the steering nut, so I'll put a little bit of Loctite on there. That seems honky dory. Next, we need to put the hex. thing on here. So we've done the grease on the bag.
Okay, so screw in the grub screws there. Pretty sure it's I'm just going to put a bit of Loctite on those grub screws, screw them up tight. So this is sort of where we're at. Don't think we can focus that close. So. Hopefully I haven't forgotten nothing, but I'll uh, lock tight those grab screws in, put the wheel on, we'll have a look. Okay, just a quick update. I had to take the hex drive off because I had one of the little washers on the inside and the other thing that looks like a washer on the outside, and they're both supposed to go on the inside. So that it looks like... I don't know if you can see it there. So that looks like you get a little bit of a tiny gap in there. You can sort of see it like a washer looking thing. Yeah. So when you put it back on, make it look like there's two washers on the inside. And nothing on the end. Alright, so... There it is. Pink aluminium steering knuckle down there. I think it's all right. The wheel seems to look pretty straight. Um, I'm going to pull the other one off because it's still plastic. So I'm going to pull the other one off onto this side. I don't know if you can see him down in there. It's still plastic. I'm going to pull that off, change it over, and uh, then we'll give it a little test and take it out in the dirt. Okay, so finished both steering knuckles now. So it's all put back together. I'm um, going to take it for a little run around the driveway, make sure the steering's alright. So now I'm going to put the body on, jump in the car, and go out on the dirt. I'll try and uh, get a bit of footage. See how we go.